Hi everybody, Dion here with the Turquoise Iris, sitting on my little munchkin stool today. And as you can see, this piece back here that we started the last couple of nights have, well, it looks completely different. So I'm gonna scooch out of the way because when we first got started on this one, you guys, hello, 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 Gavin. I see you guys, hello. Guys, we're streaming on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube all at the same time. So if I'm talking to somebody, and you don't see the comment, I do apologize. Um, all right, we are working on this piece of furniture. Now this is a huge buffet. I told you I was gonna do abstract on the front of it. So what does exactly that look like? Well, that leaves me really open to going a lot of different directions with this DIY furniture makeover. Um, as you can see, I have some cups of color up here. We're gonna do some mixing and I'm going to incorporate my mica pigments into Tarnished Pearl, which is a creamy off-white from DIY. Okay, so the last time you guys were on, it was yellow and blue like zebra stripes because as you can see, there's still yellow and there's still some blue. All of those coats are underneath, the, the colors are underneath as a base coat. Um, we applied some water. I don't know who the we is, but it's me, I did it. Um, I applied some water and let some of the under colors come through and tonight I want to do something fun because as you can see this purple over here, I don't know if Instagram can see it. This purple over here is actually a really pretty lavender that I mixed beadboard. No, I mixed white swan with and I put some mica in here and tinted it. And I got this really bright lavender color. Isn't it beautiful? Hey, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. That I see you guys. Pretty. It's pretty. Well, oh, I got really excited. Word. It's for real. I got really excited about it when I added it to my canvas the other night. And uh, I thought I have to put this on the next piece of furniture. Um, so that got me thinking. I wanted to add these colors that we used last week. And we added them to color. Well, what really made me happiest was just adding them to white. So the only jar of white paint I had in the entire house was tarnished pearl. So I poured a little in a cup for each color and I'm going to take these four colors of mica and I'm going to tint them. And then we're going to start working our next layer or, um, I don't know. I have a, I, I do have a vision. I saw a painting on Instagram. Uh, it was an abstract painting, an abstract floral. It's really given me the idea. So all of these colors have been mixed in these four cups. Last week we had, um, I tinted the green inside Monet's garden, so I also have that. I tinted that gorgeous pink inside some cowgirl coral, so I also have that. And then I enhanced my blue iris with some of the blue mica as well. So all of these colors here to say, I have art brushes. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lower the camera in a second. I'm gonna sit down on the floor and I'm gonna jump right in. But to be honest with you, the very first thing I have to do is ask Matt to give me some water. I have something right here in my throat. <laughs> I'm sorry. How's everybody doing? I hope you've had a great weekend. Um, you're searching for Mike now. No, not the spray bottle, babe. No, don't, 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 don't. Um, this is from Amy Sadler, and Amy Sadler is Counterculture DIY. That is the Micah that she sent me. So Amy Sadler is Chateau Chic, Chateau Chic, and she's on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, Chateau Chic. Oh, all right. Sorry, Instagram. All right. So let's jump in with some art. I am going to, um, you are just excited because Quinn is watching. Ah, hey, Quinn. I'm so glad you're here. Um, Miss Girl, I heard you did so well at gymnastics yesterday. I'm so proud of you. I have a tickle right here. Oh, okay. Let's go down just a little bit lower. And I apologize, but I didn't want to sit on the floor the entire time. Age, hips, legs, all of that is involved. Don't say a word, Matthew. All right. Uh, Cheryl, uh, I Atkinson? Yes, Cheryl. How are you, girl? When did you start this piece? Honey, I this is the one I've been working on. Um, what'd we do? We started it with uh, the blue. Uh, yeah, so Thursday? Was it yellow. Thursday? I don't remember if it was Wednesday and Thursday. I did two days. 
Uh, we did the yellow. Um, Blue. Yeah, I did these two colors striped with my VIP brush just to get my base colors on because I wanted those bold colors to pop through, uh, which you can see the blue and you can see the yellow all back in here. So then I came in with that beautiful lavender color I made, cowgirl coral, mint chip is over here, and then I put bohemian blue, sprayed it with water, and a lot of that yellow from underneath is kind of coming through. So we're going to build up our layers even more, but we've got to mix our color. So in this, I have tarnished pearl, which is a white creamy color, and I have the yellow mica. And I am, I grabbed a bunch of mop brushes, but I only have one from the turquoise iris. I keep selling them. So I just want to enhance these colors and just see if I can get them to be almost, you know, I'm putting in the fluorescent. So I'm, I'm wanting them because this was white and I added purple mica to it. Uh, purple being shaggy. I believe it was shaggy. Right, babe? You know what? I also kind of want to put some water in it, but I'm going to wait to do that. So all this did with this creamy white is make it this gorgeous yellow. They're pastels, but they have just a little bit of brightness to them, which is of course we can, we could add more if we wanted. I'm going to add, I'm going to pour a little water in it. It's pretty thick with all that powder. I didn't know how much paint I would need. And now I probably just dripped way too much water. Carrie and Jasmine and everybody, how are you? Tasha, I'm so glad you're here. What I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm going to do um, orange and yellow up here kind of at the top. I'm going to put some blues. I'm going to have streaks. And then I'm going to have the, the pastel flowers on this center section. And then I'm going to have runs, I, th I think. I think that's my plan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So this is a really pretty yellow and I don't know if you can tell right now. No, the lighting is good. Is the lighting good? Yeah. So right now this kind of looks like our cut cake batter color, which I have over there that would have, this is, so this right now is not doing much for me. It's a pretty color, but I already have this if I had used my cake batter, but I didn't know until I got it mixed. So um, I just realized I should probably, um, thank you, me, Michelle. Thank you so much. So I think, look at this orange. What? Is it gorgeous? I think it is. You may think it's crazy, but we're going to have to put this on this, this piece of furniture. Oh, yes, Matthew. This is good. Is that what you were after right Yes. There? This is so good. This is like the color of the, um, what's the popsicle? The push... The push, sure. the sherbet, you know, and the little thing, and the, the the ice cream truck comes, and ding, 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 ding. And sure. you go, sure. I want a push pop. Oh, yeah, look at this orange sherbet. Look at this. All right, so this is me adding pigments to my DIY paint. It already looks like reflections of colors, just waiting for its flowers. Thank you. But we're not doing flowers. Hi, Mom. We are doing abstract, right? Yeah, but I said they will, they, they will probably end up looking like flowers, babe. Oh. Sorry, it's abstract. You, you tend you tend to kind of go that way. Dreamsicle says. Dreamsicle. Uh, that's my manager. Thank you for that information. So I'm just stirring in my colors. I have. And Rob said it too. All right, see this gorgeous pink? Bada bing. Let's put a little water in it first before we stir it. Hold it up when you're mixing so we can see how you're mixing. Oh, I'm just. I know. They, they don't want to see. Okay. All right. Carrie G says, actually looks like apricot. Mm -hmm. Cream sickle. It looks like a landscape. So I was thinking it already kind of looked like a landscape. And I could go that route, but we just kind of finished a landscape. Uh, we did um, Misty Meadow recently. And so I thought, well, let me add some color on this that I haven't really done before. Like I said, I was inspired by a painting I saw on Instagram. And I saved it to my phone. Now this is just bubbly gummy. Yes. I say, I see a Monet in the works. Uh, Tarane, hey Deanna, I messaged um, IG pertaining to the journal. Uh, I attempted on the first to email them. Okay. Okay, I didn't I didn't understand what you just said, babe. What'd you say? I think she just tried to get a hold of you about the um, journal. Uh-huh. you had a few questions. Uh-huh, okay. Um, 
So if you have the question, maybe we can try to answer it now. If you, if we can do that. Yeah. Was it about your subscription, wanting a subscription, or wanting to do a submission? Submissions are closed for issue two. All right. So I've got that green. Now this was that crazy Kermit green, you guys. We're going to put some of this on here. Now keep in mind, even if we're using bright colors, see, I, I challenge the ladies and gentlemen in my group to use a fluorescent um, on their makeover for December. I try to do a paint challenge, and so they're having to use a fluorescent. So I'm still keeping my DIY paint but I'm adding in the natural pigments of the mica so I can kind of get what I'm hoping to be a little bit of a fluorescent. If it's too bright, if it's too bold, and if it's just, um, thank you, I think so too. If it's just a little bit too much, guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna tone it down with either white wax or black wax. Can't wait to see some splatter, hey! Yeah, Rob's ready to Did the a mica affect the clay paints ability to deactivate you know what um let's see we did it with that other painting and i didn't need to and i didn't need to to um, activate it again i actually didn't want to so what were you know what heather i don't she, know for sure we're gonna find out yeah i know um we're gonna find out we are totally gonna find out right now thank you delisa i'm trying to grow them out yeah it's gonna be a process delisa y'all are, I'm, 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 with us. Y are gonna see me doing this and you're gonna want to flick my hand through the screen and it's just what it is what it is i think, I've been, we, sh I think we should do like a headband look at this oh you guys i do have monet's garden and we we grabbed monet's garden the other day and put it on the painting and we added some of that exact same mica in here so we brighten that up so in combination that's going to go kind of down here it's going to drip um and i still have more of my lavender color look boom i love it i love it and i'm not really a purple fan but my goodness this is this is more like a lilac and it's delicious uh we're gonna stir more water in that. I think it's Tara Nay. I think that's how I say it. Uh, she said she paid, but email is not working. Email didn't receive the email. It's being processed. I'm not quite sure. For the journal, like a journal subscription. Yeah, she she gifted it to herself for her birthday. Tomorrow. Oh yeah, so. you got it, uh, Tara. So what happens when you buy a gift subscript, a gift issue? You um, get an email back to you, and it may go to spam or junk. So make sure you check there, and then you're given a link. Now it's not a clickable link. It's a link that you have to type into your browser, your URL. Well, she received an email saying that it's being processed. Um, you, well, so what you have to do is you have to um, take the, the email that comes to you, you have to take that link and you have to type it in into your browser and then it will take you and say set up your login so you put in your login and your password and create it and then you activate you go to the website and just log in but you have to type up your idea or you have to create a login and password first um okay so, so now you got your colors what's, i have my colors what's kind of your plan what's your goal what's, i just uh, told everybody is it is it uh abstract flowers yeah <laughs> it's original right it's totally original for me but i know i said i was going to do like a like a crazy abstract, but this could be that. I mean, this this still could be that. So I have to decide. I think I want to start from one side and work my way. So can everybody see the pink side? Instagram can't. So let me let me turn this here. And I'm running out of room here, Matt. I'm gonna scoot this light back. I don't have room. Running out of room. We built some shelves, so you mm -hmm. wouldn't run out of room. I know you built some fabulous shelves, and I'm so appreciative. Okay. All right, so I want to start with my orange and my yellow. And I'm going to get some bigger brushes here. I'm going to get my, uh, yes, I am. I, I don't know, Delisa. I don't know. If you have questions, message me on Facebook if you have one. That's uh, Tara Michelle, that's, that's uh, uh, Tara Nay. That is Michelle Replogle right there. So if you have any questions, feel free. You love that pink peach on the top left. So this is actually this Powgirl Coral with a Michael Mica, the pink Mica added to it. Uh, so that's what that, that's what this is. Um, all right, we're gonna go over it. I don't know why I'm a little nervous. I'm kind of excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous. Well, I mean, I get it. You're doing something that you know I haven't really done a whole lot before. 
makes sense. But don't worry, honey. I'm here for the moral support. You're amazing. The moral. I'm. I got. I'm. I'm the moral support guy. I'm the cheerleader in the background. Not a boy. Did you ever wear a cheerleader costume, Matt? I did. I know. Ha ha. I told. I, I said that on purpose because I knew you had. Uh, Derek says, "Guess that'll have to be." Or oh, I'm replying to Karen. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. The color is fabulous. This is the orange. Um, everybody was like, huh? Huh? So do you think it's going to dry darker or about the same when it dries? I don't know. That's the first time I've done this. I am not. <laughs> you, just, you just you just go get I don't her done. No, guys, just I am get just, her done. Honey. I'm not sure, guys. <laughs> Robert says uh, uh, fly the heather. Very neon. It's not really as neon as it might look on the screen, but it's pretty neon over here. Is it? Yeah. Sweet. Can't wait. Rob Rob uh, taking us back to the '80s. Hey, I like the '80s. I listen to the '80s all the time. A little wham, maybe a little Duran Duran. He does. But guys, that's what I'm saying. If we get this too bright, all we do is we use our wax to antique it. And it's going to, it's going to, I put a, because I will use my, I will enhance all of my paintings with a little bit of acrylic. Sometimes I let it, you know, drip and, and do all of that. Yes, Debbie, she put my kit in all of the colors. Lisa, are you going to send me some pom-poms for Christmas? She says I need some. Aw. He did wear a Halloween costume, a cheerleader. He wore his sister's costume. I did. Okay, I was, her uniform for one year for Halloween. We're covering up all this, guys, so no worries. I was probably, gosh, I was going to say fourth. Eighth grade. Oh, please. You were grade. totally, dude, you had muscles. I've always you had were, muscles. You were in eighth grade. Have you seen me in my, those little videos? I was like six. I look like, I look like Hercules. You look like Hercules? Yes. You're so full of baloney. It was elementary school. Okay. I can assure you it was elementary. It was like fourth or fifth grade. No. You want to bet? Yes. All right. What are we betting? Back hang rub? On, hang on. Focusing. Back rub. Now you're taking it too far. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh. Yumi Ko would like to know, if, do you think that maybe we could provide a link where they could buy the Micah, maybe? Uh, Did you go, uh? Oh, I'm like, oh, how do I get a link? Um, can we put a link in, in the, the description, in the down in the comments? We could. Because I, I have I to figure out it, how to I get it. Know, I don't know how to do that. I, I, uh, it's counter, counter culture, DIY, Micah. Uh, Rob says keyword had muscles. Ah, he saw he heard the word had. Wow. But I Rob. didn't say that, Rob. What I'm saying is he had muscles. And if he had third or fourth grade, it's not like you're gonna have these big arm muscles while you're wearing a cheerleading costume. Not and then he's saying he had big muscles in third or fourth grade. Of course he's saying that. I thought we were friends, Rob. I thought we were boys. <laughs> So do you think do you think uh, it'll be sh like and have a shimmer to it? I don't know. We're not sure. Okay, we're this is like I don't know, guys. This is just like experimental. Oh, we got the fingers now. Here we go. It's getting it's getting real up in here. Yeah, we're just we're painting, so I don't know. I haven't done this before. We're doing an abstract. We're doing layers of color, and I am playing with these fluorescent colors. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a little nervous for you as well. You're nervous for me. I am. I'm a Why? little I'm nervous. Why? I'm having so much fun, baby. No, 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 no. And I, I'm happy. You're what would be nervous that, about? That, that, because I I know you. And sometimes after the live, you go. Argh. All right, we're gonna shift the camera. I think you're full of baloney. I'm good. 
Okay. Oh, I think the end result's going to be fabulous. It is going to be fabulous, but it's a process, babe. I'm pretty, okay. Pretty I'm okay. Little wife says, I aspire to have even half of the talent of Dion. She's my spirit animal. Oh, that you're the sweetest perfect. thing. Thank you so much for that. One, Matt, Matt, one, Matt doesn't have that one, desire. Nine, nine, he says, whoa, what is happening? I'm loving this. So remember that we have a yellow and blue underneath this in a stripe pattern, okay? And now, Abby, you need to go back and lay down, pretty girl. Can you go lay Abby. back down? He's your mama's baby. Go lay down. Go lay down, please. All right, so we need to get this side. Okay. All right. I can't see or read any comments, you guys, so I'm just going to work as fast as I can um, on this right here. Most of that's going to be covered up, so nobody panic. Ooh, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> Cheryl's uh, not saying a whole lot because she's watching on the big screen. I think she's screaming at you going, no! Yeah, she might. She might. <laughs> I love it when they start doing that. No, what are you doing? I know, it's like I can hear them. I can, I feel, I, I, I feel it. <laughs> Come on. Well, she's all right. No, she's she's all right. Go, oh, she won't go out of the room. Oh. Come on. Go outside. Good girl. Go lay by the fire and be a dog. All right. So I don't know if the color. Turn it down just a little bit. Uh, Paulette says, okay, I missed a few nights. So is so, the mica what makes the paint fluorescent? Yep. Okay. I put, well, mica comes in every color, but I actually put fluorescent mica inside of my DIY white. I took a white, a tarnished pearl, and that is what's, what, that's what's happening. Uh, once you nine tiny, what brush is that? This is a mop brush. I only have one of mine. It's the turquoise iris mop brush. I only have one. Um, so that's what you see me using um, some of my older ones. But this is up here. This is the Ooh. turquoise iris one. Pretty. Yeah, it is. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, it is. Uh, Callie Rakovich. Hi, Callie. How are you? She says hello. All right. One of these days, honey, I'm going to figure out how to put us on the big screen. Where? On the big screen. But where? Like, we don't have a TV in here. Not in here. Oh. Like just an old video and watch it? Oh, no, we don't do that. I do not. I'm not watching any old videos. Can't do it. You can. If you want to watch me, babe. Tasha says, Pepto Pink. Pepto Pink. <laughs> so it's actually a little bit brighter than the Pepto. Now this is cowgirl coral with some of that pink added in. Okay, so that's cowgirl coral with a little bit of pink. Mm -hmm. Pink mica? Yeah. Gotcha. So how was your weekend, babe? It was fantastic. Yeah? What did we do? Today? Yeah. Uh, today we, we had the pleasure of going to the phone store. Oh, that's right. No. But today wasn't all that fun, even though I still was with both boys, so that kind of made it okay. They, well, the they, us, they usually make it pretty fun. The four of us were together somewhere at the phone store, so they want new phones. And I told them in order to get new phones, you've got to go with me. And so um, we didn't get new phones yet, but we're going to change service. So anyway, we did that today. Um, I went by my sister's sister-in-law and gave her her birthday present, gave, gifted her a painting. So I got to see my brother and my nephew. So that was always fun. Rob just, uh, he told me to go buy the Apple adapter from Apple phone to TV. Okay. You didn't know there was any of that. I don't even know what that is, but I will go to the store and I will say, Rob Gloria from <laughs> San Antonio, Texas told me you can buy the Apple adapter from the Apple phone to TV. Uh, and if he looks at me funny, then I'll know I've been I've been You've punched. been bamboozled or whatever that is. I've what is that? Punched. 
where the girl gets in the car. She get her mom sends her in and she goes in and asks for blinker fluid. Blinker fluid. Blinker fluid. Classic. And the girl comes out and she's like, they don't have it. Hello, Alice. I would do Hello, that. Hello, Sarah Lawson. Okay. All right. So my orange and my corals are on the outside. Um, and now I want to bring in some more of my pink with my yellow. And... Oh my gosh, now Heather Watson's telling me we have to have a smart TV or a fire stick. I don't have a smart TV or a fire stick. Fire stick? Do we have, we don't have a smart TV, right? I don't know. Because I, I think I tried to project a video, a YouTube to test it and it didn't work. It was like, would you want to, you know, connect to your phone or your TV or whatever? Guys, this is going to be covered up a lot. Yeah, but I think in order to do that, you have to have an adapter. Oh. Well, See, no, I think you, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Know. It doesn't matter to me. I wanted to ask you guys to help me with something. So the other night, Julie and Elijah were looking for a movie to watch. And I was trying to think of some movies that I really liked that I thought as a couple, a young couple, they would really enjoy. And so I was going to make them a list of movies that they should check out. But I'd rather you guys help me with this list. Okay, now, now Pam now Pam Dudley, she's coming in and she's saying, use the fire stick with Alexa. Who in the world is Alexa? Now I got to go buy a fire stick. Somebody named Alexa. We don't and, have, we and, don't have and, an and Alexa. An guys, we don't have an Alexa. We don't have her. She, she doesn't party at our house or hang out at all. She's, we don't have those things. Why don't we? Why don't we what? Why don't we have an Alexa? What? Do we need one? I don't know. What does she do? I don't know. I hope she cooks and cleans. I thought she played music, but I didn't know she did other things. I hope Alexa she comes does... and, and like, sweeps up behind the boys. She does not cook or clean. Here's the Apple adapter. Legends of the Fall. Okay, write down that. Write down Legends of the Fall. Matthew, remember how I said I wanted you to write down? Do you mind? Oh, okay. Write down some movies that we can give the, the kids. Did you say Legends of the Fall? That's what, that's that what the, Heidi. Brad did. You can ask her anything. She does so much. Quinn would like to meet Matt on the live. Can he show his face? Quinn is her granddaughter. Well, so anything for granddaughters, right? Anything for pretty anything little girls. for little girls that work so hard, honey. She is a gymnast, and she's been working oh, so I hard. Hear. So we're we're coming up with a list for what'd you say, Elijah? Yeah, Elijah and Julia. Okay, yeah. So we're coming up with uh, just um, older movies that they might not have seen but Dion seems to think that they would really enjoy it. Okay, so I want a little bit more okay, hang on. Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds, that was the proposal. Proposal favorite. They've seen that. Great movie. Yes. Papa Mac and Irene got that right. Very good. Yeah, you can't you can't live here and not not love the proposal. That's just too incredibly too incredibly funny. Ooh, ghost. Okay, ghost is a good one. I didn't think of that one. Uh, what did you say? What was the one that you said? They said Legends of the Fall. Legends of the Fall. Yeah. yeah cool. I'm putting some Queen Bee up here too. This Dirty is... Dancing. Um, I wonder if they've seen that. Well, go ahead. Fried and Green Tomatoes. No. Must Love Dogs. Men of Honor. Ooh, Men of Honor. Now remember, we're thinking of my 19 year old son and his 19 year old girlfriend or 18 year old girlfriend. Yeah, but I mean, you know, come on. No, I was thinking about the the fried green tomatoes. I was like, well, I, I wanted something that maybe they would. I don't think Elijah would enjoy that movie. Well, we caught them watching a Hallmark, uh, movie. Hallmark movie. A Hallmark movie with goofy sweaters, Christmas sweaters yesterday. I didn't catch them. Hancock. That is a good one. Heaven is for real. Grease. Ocean's Eleven. I mean, you guys are a little fast. I can't write this fast. Hancock with Will Smith. Message in the bottle. Write that one down. Write that one down. It was a terrible ending. It's a great ending. Oh, gosh. Okay. So I'm kind of letting this dry, guys. You know I have a ton of water on this right now. Okay. 
so now I'm. Ooh, watching. Angel with John Travolta. That was a good one. Angel. Yeah, that's when he had uh, like a brain tumor. Oh, and no, he got I... like super, super smart. Is it sad? Yeah, it's sad. Oh, yeah. no, I'm not into sad. Of course, a lot of these are. Peanut Butter Falcon. Peanut butter. Oh, that's a new one, isn't it? That's a new one. We haven't even seen it. Hope Floats. That was the one I wanted you to write down. Hope Floats. I couldn't remember it. Top Gun, which they've seen. Yeah, they've seen that one. We watched that on vacation. What about Full Metal Jacket? Nope. Hamburger Hill? I don't even know what that is. Sorry. Sea Biscuit. Okay, Karen. Sea Biscuit was Elijah's absolute yes. favorite movie. Karen. We watched it like probably i'm not exaggerating no, we probably it. watched it about thirty-seven thousand times every day his movie was sea biscuit he wanted a horse we bought sea biscuit toys we bought um horses where he could run around and that was his thing he he loved sea biscuit all i want for christmas he man from snowy river sea biscuit pretty woman that'd be a good one. Oh, that's a good one but Sea Biscuit, absolutely. Write that one down. Because he I bet you anything, he has not watched it in so many years, and I, Julie has never seen it. I bet you anything, Julie has never seen that. Oh no, that was phenomenal with John Travolta. You're right, Bobby. I got that one wrong. Hacksaw Ridge. Wonderful. What's that? That's the one you couldn't finish. I couldn't? Well, Day after tomorrow. Good one. My cousin Vinny. <laughs> that is a good one right there. The Quiet Man. I don't know that one. Hmm. Rain Man. That's a good Roadhouse. <laughs> is that uh, is that a look? Gail Lopez says, "Oh, Miss D, what are you up to?" <laughs> <laughs> We're just, you know, just playing, just playing, having a good it's time. Just paint, Gail. Valentine's Day. That's yeah, I know what that one is. Uh, Tasha, the movie is for our 19-year-old son and his girlfriend. I wanted to make a list of movies. They're on college break, and they were they were looking for movies yesterday. They were on the couch, and I was like, have y'all seen? Have y'all seen? And I think of, I couldn't think of any movies, and I thought, you guys are the smartest people I know. Without so a doubt. I was going to make a list tonight so I could give it to them, and while they're, you know, bored over the holiday break. Robert Gloria says, strikes. <laughs> is that, oh, my gosh, we had that video. Stripes? Yeah, with the zebra? I don't think that's the one he's talking about. With the zebra? Stripes? The racing stripes? I don't know. He might be. Because that's one of my their favorite kids. Sleepless in Seattle? That's a good one. Write that one down. Jumanji, the original. Yeah, we've seen that. Oh, yeah, we've good. seen that a lot. Uh, Laura, changing the subject. Question. What is that just mica in DIY? Thing? Yes, it's in tarnished pearl. I've made a bunch of different colors. A Star is Born. Grumpy Old Men. Oh good my one, gosh, Katie. that's a good, good one. one Katie. So down. I love that movie. Adult version produced by Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't think I've seen that. Did one. not know that. No, Stripes, yeah, Bill Murray. He's thinking of the comedy. Oh. It's a good movie. I don't even know that one. Uh, where, uh, Shanoa? Yeah, Lane? Shanoa. Hi, Shanoa. Uh, How are you? Where did she get the mica, honey? Irma Rosales, you got mail. All right. Someone tag Amy Sadler with Chateau Chic. She's the one that. that oh, there's a link above, says Rob. Somebody okay. did that. All right, awesome. Foot loose. Been a while. Footless, footless. Okay, so Kick off now I hope you can kind of start to see, guys. I'm gonna put flowers all the way across in the middle, so these colors are just spilling out oh, from underneath. Good so one, pretty the little wide. Flowers are coming in over the center. Remember Howard the Duck? Honey? And then w Howard the Duck? Nope, yeah. I don't. That was a good one. How about Office on Netflix? Gail, they've watched it over. And over. That's what they dressed up as. They Halloween. were the office. They were Michael and Dwight. Dwight for Halloween. 
Short circuit, good one. Oh, it's around that time there was one where the kid went in the spaceship. Oh, what's that movie? I used to love that movie. Short circuit was good. You guys are so smart. I know, that's why I said, let's just ask them. So smart. Everybody's like, oh no, not the green. Fly to the navigator. Pretty little wife, you got you got, got the same pump. taste. I'm telling you what. Oh, Yellowstone with uh, Kevin Costner. Now that's a series, right? You, you know, I think that's a series, Yellowstone. But it looks really good. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I just wanted movies that they were like before their time. Like they wouldn't have, they wouldn't be thinking of, you know, and they wouldn't be, they wouldn't even know the name. Which of be like eighties and nineties, any, anything before two thousands. Yeah. <laughs> So how many people do you think unfollowed me tonight? 16. Awesome. Goonies, they've seen Goonies. <laughs> Heidi McClure also got Flight of the Navigator. Very good. Matthew, babe, I'm gonna need more water. Put it in your cup or in your- In the spray bottle. In the spray bottle? Please. So Lolly's joining us right now. Hi, Lolly. I bet Lolly's got a lot of good movies. Well, you know, some people just aren't movie watchers. Like my That's mom, true. My yeah. mom is not a movie watcher. She does not know. Well, I mean, you really get it. You can get into like the Terminators. She's more of a reader. She likes to read, but you not... like all the Terminators, yeah, but... the Predator movies. But do you think Joy? Do you think they would like that? Probably not. Well, we're giving a movie. Do you think they? Would... Okay. All right. We're gonna shift to the other side. It's looking. Wild, crazy, wild, crazy. Yes, but you can binge watch it now. I know a few movies. You know a few movies, Karen. I I can remember movies, but I just have a hard time remembering their names. Like that's my problem. I'm gonna wait for this pink. I'm gonna wait for this pink, and I've got that. And I'm gonna add in the Monet's garden here in a minute. Thank you, hon. Yep, Star Wars, Top Gun. Avatar Betty, love that movie. Seen that in the big screen, and I watch it every time it comes on. He really does. He like freezes in space. He can't function if if Avatar is on. There's quite a few movies that I can't function when they come on. That's my. You know what? That is my problem. If I'll sit down for lunch sometimes, and I make the mistake well, of trying to find something that I want to watch. <laughs> And then I find a really good movie, and it's like just started, but I'm only like 20 minutes into it. So my my 45 minute lunch turns into like an hour and a half lunch. No. Nope. And I'm just John will keep walking See? by and kind of staring at me, like, "What are you doing?" It's like one o'clock. <laughs> you gotta go back to work, bro. <laughs> Mr. Holland, op oh, oh, Mr. One. Holland's opus. Yeah. Good call. I like Goodwill Hunting too. I just I feel like they've seen it, but I don't know for sure. They have. They get mad at me every time because I watch it all the time. Well, I'm talking about Julia. Ooh, Sarah Duncan, Princess Bride. Good call. Oh yeah, that's a good one. What about the one that you love so much, Matt? The Intern with the older man and with Robert De Niro. Yeah, Robert De Niro. That's a great movie. The Outsiders. Why did you end up having to read that book, didn't he? Yeah, I had to read that in eighth grade for Weird um, science, English. says Delisa Dixon. For some reason, Delisa, that I thought that movie suits you really well, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Silly. It made me laugh. But you know, there are some really good love story movies that uh I just I can't think of the names of them. Cocoon, says Rob. Oh, I don't remember that one. Oh, I do. Good movie. Meet Joe Black, says Callie. Weird science. A good call. I'm going to write that one down. Which is the one uh, it had... Um, oh, gosh. I'm going to screw this all up. I should have brought up so I thought it was named. Uh, <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> it was about that time period. He was a super smart genius at a school, 
This new kid comes in as a freshman, supposed it's, to be really cool. I knew that's what you were going to say. Did you know I knew you were going to say that? Maybe? You did not know. I yes, I did, with the popcorn. They did that to the, the professor's and the house. the popcorn in the house, that's right. Um, it was Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer, that's right. Val Kilmer. And they were in college. Of course, he was like a 30-year-old man. Oh, my gosh. Good one, Aaron. Dead Poet Society. Mm -hmm. See, I think we're craving movies. Um, normally, this time of the year, when it gets cold, the only way you can get me out of the house is take me to a movie. And um, I told Matt, I'm really missing our movie times because the best movies always came out this time of the year. I am missing them because I... Uh, you can get me out of the house for other things, but I just mean them to sit still other than baseball. Carrie G says, Cast Away with Tom Hanks. Very good. I love that movie. Uh, that. Cheryl says, P.S. I love you. I love you too, Cheryl. Thank you. What? She says, P.S. I love you. I don't think that's what she meant, baby. Oh, she meant the movie. Yeah, gotcha. I think that's what she meant. I thought she was flirting with me, honey. <laughs> you would. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, what, what is that that with Val Kilmer? He's, he's very young. What's the name of that movie? It's a science where they're at the college and they go to the laboratory and there's this freshman. They live in the dorms together. Oh, space camp. Yes, that's a good one. Guys, I'm having so much fun. I know that it looks like an absolute disaster right now. Real genius. Real genius. That's it. And it may stay. It may continue to look like a real disaster, but I'm okay with it. I am doing something different, and it feels nice to do something a little bit different with different colors, all for my DIY paint. Now, now this is my my um, Monet's Garden, but it has a little bit of that lime green tint in there. Okay, so. Uh, Jerry see. McGuire, good one. Oh, yeah, that is a good one. You've had me said, at hello. Yeah, that says the uh, scent of a woman. You had nice. me at hello. That is a good one. You had me at hello. Delisa Dixon says, girlfriend, this is for real looking absolutely beautiful. Oh, honey, I it know is not for real yet. I know you said it's crazy. It but is crazy. It's crazy beautiful. Oh, well, we're a long ways from being beautiful, but I love you for saying that, really. The color purple. Nice one, Daddy. That's a good one. I love that movie, too. Heather Watson got it. Thank you, Real Genius. Real um, Catherine Grant has a question. Yes, Will the water activate the paint that is dry? It will. Because it's DIY paint, it will activate it. Um, and some of my layer, it's pulling some of my colors off from my original layer. My original layer has stripes of yellow and blue going this way. And so I wanted to pop colors up from underneath it that you wouldn't have expected. Um, so I started that way with my base coat. Stand by me, says Sue Rosenblatt. That was a crazy movie. It was a good movie. Yeah. I'm going to write that down. It was good. I've got 18 written down, honey. Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> Dude, I think, I mean, I really think we've got them for the whole break now. That's awesome. But I, I still love the idea that they're, you guys are thinking of some good ones. Revenge Shelly of Ross, good evening. Hi, Shelly. How you doing? Um, Christine Adler, are you using just water or a vinegar mixture, please? This is only water. And this is just water in my, my uh, water girl. And so I'm going to the next step, once I get all this on here, the next step is to add flowers across the front of it. What was the one uh, with, uh, it was a doctor Christine, and, uh, oh, uh, gosh. Oh, I, I can do this all the time. I see his face. Robin Williams. And he was a doctor, and he was uh, a doctor in children for, for the children's ward. He came like the head doctor for uh, Patch. Was it Patch Adams? I don't know, but that is a movie. But I don't. I don't. Why would he be called Patch? I wonder. I don't know. Always with Richard Drivers. Good one. That was that was when he was the he was the uh, firefighter, but he flew the airplane. He What's died. the president one with him? Yeah, Callie Patch Adams. Thank you. That's a good one, Patch Adams. What was the president one where um, that beautiful actress falls in love with the, the president? Sigourney Weaver? No. No, she has short hair. It was a remake in the 90s. And one of the most popular male actors was the president. What was that? And then... Dave. Was it Dave? Good. If, if that's what you're talking about, that's a good movie. Janae, Janae came up with that one. 
But he was the president. The prayer president died, but he looked just like him. So yes. He yeah, yes. Hey, yeah. That was Mr. Gordy Lee. Oh, well, she okay. Then the, that's not, and that's not who I'm thinking of then. Okay. I'm thinking of the woman that she lost her legs and she couldn't walk, but she was supposed to meet him. American president? At the top of the, at the top of the, um, Eiffel Tower? Oh, no, not Eiffel Tower. No, that, he wasn't the president. Oh, well, what's that love story? You yeah, guys? it was the top of the Eiffel Tower. It, it was with Warren Beatty, wasn't it? Was it Warren Beatty? I and then they Warren ended up Beatty. getting married? Yes. Like and in real life? she was in an accident. That's why she didn't make it up there. She yes. was on her way, got hit. And she was in a wheelchair. And then he found out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that one? Annette Benning. That's exactly it. Christine Adler. The Empire State Building. It was the Empire State Building. Irma Rosales. Good one. Beautiful mind. Good call. I got 20 so far, honey. Ghostbusters. An affair I think to remember. That's it. An affair Ooh. to remember. That was the remake. That's it. That's it. I loved that. It was so sweet. I think we could all probably go down a memory lane and just like. I think we should all watch a movie together. Oh, you know what we should do? We should give them homework. <laughs> we should pick no, they, one. Nobody of these. wants homework, baby. Well, it's fun homework because it's a movie. Nobody well, we'll pick, a, we'll pick a movie. We'll watch it and then we can talk about it. Good call, Dion. I like your ideas. Oh Good my call. goodness. All right. Sweet Home Alabama. Oh yeah. The Fugitive with Harrison Ford was a good one. Back to the Futures are all good. Sleepless in Seattle. Affair to remember. Affair to remember is the one I was talking about with Annette Benning, honey. That's the one. You, okay, yeah, that's, it's called that's the name of it. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, and it was a remake. They had that. They they had the movie maybe in the '60s or '70s and or something, and it was a it was a remake. Got you. Okay. Annette Benning, I just think she's so beautiful. She just has the a classic timeless look, and I just love her. Medicine Man with Sean Connery. Indiana Jones, any of the Indiana Joneses are fantastic. They were on, I think, last weekend. They always played like a marathon. I got caught up in about three of them. <laughs> you act like you watch a lot of TV. You actually don't. You, you, I mean, you can, but. I go through my phases. I'll be honest with you. I go through phases where I'm just it like, Well, it depends on how much I'm working. It does. Working a lot, you watch more TV. If it's cold outside, <laughs> yeah. I'm getting some movies in. <laughs> That's what I mean. We watch more movies in the winter. In the summertime, we very rarely watch movies because we're just outside or planting or watering or whatever. So that's why I'm like, man, I need, we're going to have some oldies since there aren't any new ones. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, Matthew? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm saving that bubblegum pink. I think that will be the color that I bring in tomorrow over here. And then keep in mind, we can use a white wax to soften all of it, all these pastel colors, if we want to. We'll have to decide if we want to use brown wax, black wax, white wax, or a colored wax. Hitch, that's a good one. Will Smith. Oh yeah. What I haven't seen a whole lot of are the classic movies, like movies like Casablanca and all of those that I see you guys say all the time, or like Christmas movies, Miracle on 4th Street. Like I saw that once, but I still have never seen the original. I've only seen Miracle on 34th Street as the remake that Matt and I went to see when we were dating. It is a hot mess right now. <laughs> And I love it. It's okay though. Like I'm, I'm totally fine with it. So I mean, you're doing all your water and stuff right now. Yeah. I see. You know what I see? Oh my. I see two dancing, um, uh, praying mantises. Two dancing in the yellow. And, and the green. green. <laughs> they're they're doing they're they're standing up on their back on their on their back legs. Their, their two pincher arms up front are up in the air like they just don't care. Oh, my. Yeah. Did you just say yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's just fun. Having fun. Feels good to do something different with new colors, adding in the mica. Um, okay. So 
I really need this to dry. And then I want, I want more yellow, to be honest with you. Actually. Uh, Nissa Perry, I see New York City Urban Street Art. Ooh. Nice, Ness. I got a hair on the dresser. That would be mine. We will come back tomorrow with flowers, got our abstract flowers all across the center. Thank you for your movie help, you guys. I've got 20 down. You've got 20 I've movies? Got 20 oh movies man, there. just wait till we hand them that list. Well, you might, you might have to rewrite it because I'm pretty sure it's not very legible to most. Oh, I bet you did better than you think. I'm sure there's some spelling. That's all right. You were writing fast because you were yeah, monitoring I was, comments. I was. The other night in our YouTube group, we did a live where he hung the shelves up and the, the, the hanging system up over here, right? And so I was filming him the whole time and he didn't like really being on camera the whole time. And so he kept telling me to do something else with the camera. But he said, I, I, I don't remember, but he was giving me a hard time. Or was I giving you a hard time? Sue Rosenblatt, I see chart art after the rain in Mary Poppins. Oh, I love Mary Poppins. Spot. Uh, just a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Don't stop now. Yeah, you started it. Go down. Love it. Just a spoonful of sugar. Uh, Paula, yes, uh, the mica, it is mixed in the paint, the DIY paint. Um, what it, what does it do, honey? Does it does it what does it do anything special, or does it just give you some different colors that you're after? Gives me a different colors, but it's a pigment. You can use it. Most people use mica and say resin to tint resin. You can. Um, I don't know if you can tint wax. I think you can when you're if you're doing encaustic art. Uh, so I took tarnished pearl, which is a DIY paint color, and I mixed it into four cups, and I made four new colors using the fluorescence. Um, I don't think I'm going to leave the piece this bright, but when I put white wax and black wax over it and antique it a little bit, I wanted it to be just a total modern abstract with bright colors. But I still haven't used any acrylics, but I'm getting these colors. So because I'm still using DIY paint, um, I, what I need to find out is if I can reactivate it, how it's going to blend. And that's kind of what I'm, I'm learning right now is if it's going to do what it normally would have done had I not put the mica inside of it. I don't know yet. Well, didn't um, I do that with the painting? And we it did, but we painted all, you know, I painted over so much of it. Okay. And I wasn't, I wasn't trying to reactivate the paint. So much as you were just trying to move it around? Yeah. Okay. So what I want to do tomorrow when I come back is I have this bubblegum color. And then I have my original tarnished pearl that's not tinted. So I'm going to have this white tarnished pearl, and then I'm going to have this bubblegum color. And I want to put in a whole souffle of... Uh, Did you say souffle? Souffle of... Um, and I probably will need to get... I don't have any white, so I probably need to go... Uh, and then I'm going to have some gold in there and just have a spray of flowers randomly throughout this. Uh, and then we'll dry. It'll dry. And then we'll just sit back and we'll decide. Yes or no? Thank you, the turquoise iris. It's a field of dreams. Dion is such a wonderful teacher. I've learned so much. Pretty little wife, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. So amazing how you make it. Janae, I got that one Thank down, you. the Princess Bride. That was one of them. Thank you so much. Um, I think we have a long ways to go, but I'm anxious to walk in here in the morning when everything is dry um, and see kind of what it what it's going to look like. Um, and then when I'm done, I'll show you the picture of the um, there's a painting that I have saved on my phone that I'm using as my inspiration. Um, I'll show you that. I think you should start a separate post where everyone can post a name of a movie, just a movie name, no description. Yeah, I probably should. And then just print that off. It's probably a good idea. Totally. That's a great idea. A League of Their Own, that's a fun one. Tasha, Tasha Watkins says there's a couple facing each other on the right door. She's wearing a pink bubblegum dress, and he's wearing the dark blue suit. Right here? The right door. Mm -hmm. Right here. I love it. I love it. And we will probably need to do more splatters. Like Rob said, we, he's wait, waiting for the splatters. Probably need to do that. Um, 
I'm gonna get some green in here right now. Whoa, what you doing there? I'm splattering just a little bit. We do have Netflix. There's a lot of good stuff. They watch Netflix like all the time. Yeah, they watch The Office over and over and over. Okay, I think that's all I can do right now. I really need it because if I keep messing with it, it's going to get more muddled and I don't want any muddling at all. I want it to stay. Um, look at me now. I'm using my fingers because I can't hardly stand it. I like it. Oh, Kim Serato. Yeah, Shawshank Redemption and Braveheart. Two good ones. So, um, Kim, I want you to know that you just listed Matt's two favorite movies of all time. No, no, no. Not of all time. Not of all time? No, but they are way up on that. And Braveheart. Good, good movies. So, I'm actually going to write them. Supernatural, Saturday Night Fever, My Left Foot. It's looking promising. <laughs> they don't watch the Gilmore Girls. I don't think they do. I would never, I've never even watched them. I know who they are. Um, makes me want to listen to early 90s hip hop. I just have to spray paint a word across the front. Is that what I should do, guys? Just spray paint a word? How about I spread put spread love across the front of what? it and then just call it done. No, what if you what if you spray painted the word word across it? W O R D E. No. <laughs> no. Word. Very yeah. clever. Word. I, all right. I think that we're done. I don't know what else to do. The yellow in the middle going across. Wait a minute. What did Michelle say? To the coral orange to your left look like two lips. Oh. Like right here. Anyway, we've got fun colors. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'm going to have to clean my brushes. Um, Please come back because it will. It will not stay like this. It will not stay like Don't this. unfollow me. Don't unsubscribe. I appreciate you. But I will come back tomorrow around the same exact time, 830 Central Time. Um, and then we will see where it's going to go from here. Thank hit, those, you. hit those likes before you go. I say take a risk. You never know what you're going to come up with, especially um, if you're trying to do things that are kind of experimenting. And this is me experimenting with pigments and seeing what colors I can get. So the base color was Tarnished Pearl. And I used these four colors. And, um, Good night, Lisa. And they are Counter Culture DIY. One ounce bag. Gets you a lot of mica. Uh, Matt, Matt. Matt, Matt. Yes, and turquoise iris. What can I do for you? Thank you, Rob. Oh, she wants to. I need to get on there, don't I? Oh, she wants you to say hello. I need, I need, yeah. I need, I need to you say You have to hello. say hello to Quinn. So how do I look? Like you need to shave. I need to shave? Uh-huh. I, I, I trimmed my, I, I took off my mustache. I got to get down. <laughs> All right, everybody. Yeah. Matt, that's Matt. Calling on the ground. I fixed my hair. Say hi to Quinn. Hello, Quinn. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Having a sleepover at Nana's house. Everybody have a great night. We will see you back tomorrow. I appreciate you so much. See, see you ya. Later. See ya.